My name is Anita Faye Dixon. Um, I am an American Gold Star mother. I became that on October 26, 2005, when I lost my second son, Sergeant Evan S. Parker, um, to an improvised explosive device, an IED, that was thrown um, at his Humvee at a checkpoint barrier. That IED shattered and a piece of shrapnel hit him on the right side of the head and traveled all the way across um, inside of his head, cutting his brain in two. Um, he was 25 years old. He was attached to the Army Reserve, the 487th Field Artillery, 29th Combat Team out of Honolulu, Hawaii. He was called back to active duty. Um, I've done some research um, on um, Memorial and Veteran, and Webster Dictionary describes um, a veteran as a person, a soldier, who has served in military force, especially during a war. Webster defines Memorial as something designed to preserve the memory of a person, event, etc., such as a monument. I went a step further and I googled um, veteran and memorial. And Google says a veteran is defined by the United States federal governing law, the moral code, and military service as any person who has served for any length of time in any military service branch, preferably a war. A memorial is a recognition of a notorious service. After the American Revolution, the word veteran came to be associated specifically with former soldiers of old age who had fought for independence. As time went on, the word veteran was described as any former member of the armed forces or a person who has served in the military. Ronald Reagan states, a veteran is in a way an odd thing to honor those who died in defense of our country, in defense of us, in defense of the war far away. The imagination plays a trick. We see these soldiers in our mind as old and wise. We see them as something like the founding fathers, grave and gray-haired. But most of them were boys when they died. They gave up two lives, the one they were living and the one that they would have lived. When they died, they gave up their chance to be husbands, fathers, and grandfathers, and veterans. They gave up their chance to be reverend, old men. They gave up everything for our country, for us, and all we can do is to thank them and to remember them. I am here today asking for your support in preserving the Wichita, Kansas Veterans Park Memorial as a memorial to which it stands, honoring those who have fought and died for our country, the United States of America. To take that a step further, I am also asking for your support in a memorial for the Iraqi freedom, for the Operation Enduring Freedom, Iraq and Afghanistan. Right now, there is not a memorial to honor any of the Iraqi soldiers that have lost their lives. My son is one of those, and I would like to see the land preserved or the park preserved for those United States soldiers.